folks. Uh, a little bit more of a somber type video today. Uh, I suppose I'm just joining the queue of what everybody else is talking about at the moment. But it'll be my, my view on it. And it's the new rulings and everything by YouTube. Good thing, bad thing, can't care less thing. I don't know. Um, I'll tell you what I think. Um, so you don't have to go by my view. So to start with, I'm going to start off with red. I found out it's called Red, <laughs> which is a good flipping name for him, seeing he has his red. I'm not going to flip and tip it too far. <laughs> I drop it on my freaking leg. This red tomato soup with a fiery flavour. <sighs> you have to add this if you're going to do videos. Probably the first thing I should start with. If you're going to do YouTube videos, you need something fiery to fire you up. <laughs> well, <coughs> ah, yes, yeah, it's flipping lovely. I don't know if any of you uh, saw the video uh, by Midnight L where she was taking off some of us YouTubers. It's pretty funny. She's got me drinking the flipping at the beginning of my videos and stuff. I'll put a link actually down below there and you can go and have a, have a look at it. And uh, you'll, you'll see she's pretty good at taking people off. <laughs> anyway, back to one side. And because it's more serious this time, we're not having masses of fun. I'm gonna flip and have a swig every now and then. So, <laughs> bottoms up. I'm probably going to need it. Anyway, so yeah, looking at uh, what YouTube's doing at the moment. Right. My view, nothing ever stays static. I've talked about that when I've talked about golf in the 80s to golf in the present time nothing ever stays static and when it does we're gonna like some of it we're not gonna like some of it sometimes you're gonna love lots of it sometimes you're gonna flipping detest loads of it uh, it depends where you're coming from um, I see lots of different views from different angles at the moment there's people from the top we might say that have got the thousands hundreds of thousands or whatever of subscribers and doing these professional type videos we're hearing from people in the middle uh, we're hearing from people somewhere what they call the south down the bottom which I don't <clears throat> um, everybody does have a point I see more of a point to some people than others um, people at the bottom are tending to work a lot I think we're worrying that hang on does this mean my channel's gonna flip and disappear I'm gonna disappear off YouTube well, as far as at the moment, no, I can't ever say that would never come in the future. Um, might come in the future that the flipping cut the top off. We don't know. Uh, that's what I said, it, we get change. But <clears throat> there is uh, YouTubers at the bottom that had this desire. It was probably a thing that got them going. I, I'll have this, this desire to to reach a little bit more into the Dizzyites and make a little bit of cash on the side. And they're sort of looking at, they'd be happy if, if you got two or three pound a month, they go, hey, got two or three pound. 
well, it's about then you get people at the top that are more or less using it as an income, as a career, which I'd say myself is totally bonkers if you haven't got a fallback. I think if you're, a, if you're an actor, if you're uh, a very famous band, anything, whatever you are like that and you've got your income coming in, you need a fallback because that's not always going to be there. And you can be a big actor, one minute, week or two later, somebody's going, oh. So you need a fallback and the, and the clever people are those that go into acting or whatever, but say, right, I'm going to have a backup. They go to college, university, whatever, get degrees in something else. And even in the process of what they're doing in the public light, they do that a bit more to the side. So I think I think within YouTube, if if you're doing it as a career, and you start, and over well what a year or something now, we've seen big channels going. Oh, I am flipping worried. Uh, the monetization of it isn't what it was and they're doing this to it and they're doing that to it and remember when lots of the big companies said sod this we're backing off we're not we're not playing this game anymore until you sort bloody youtube out which is part of what's happening now there's so many things happening uh, where these big companies were then being victimized by the press and everything what the hell are you doing having this type of video with your adverts and we're talking about videos that really really shouldn't be on flipping youtube at all and if you if you if you're associated with them that can bugger your company up so there was a lot of that People were going, oh, this is YouTube, this is business trying to be... No, it wasn't. It was dickheads putting stuff up that really shouldn't be up. And it was being attached to them. Then it was YouTube's fault for not getting rid of that sort of thing. And for not taking the time when they're putting videos on to these companies. Making sure that what they're giving to a company is the sort of thing that company would like to be seen associated with so there's always something going on and this is the newest bit I'm not quite sure why some of this seems to have cropped up since uh, the dodo who uh, put video up of the suicide forest find somebody hanging there and flipping makes fun of it and everything and the thing as far as I can tell with that is it's messing a lot of people around yet the idiot that did it is still sort of there so there's a lot of priorities wrong but getting back really to today which I don't really have the full explanation of why it's happening. Um, my view on it. Um, for me, I, I couldn't care. It doesn't bother me one bit. I did uh, a while back, I can see if I say this word, monitor, no, I put adverts on to my, <laughs> Ah, oh, freaking bad with the tongue ties. I put videos onto some of my uh, um, videos, and then I kept looking at the details as it was coming up, and came to the conclusion really that unless you got millions of flipping subscribers and they're actually looking at what you're putting up, it was totally pointless really, because the amount they want before you get anything to 
what is supposed to be happening here is just bonkers. Uh, I'd probably be in my hundreds by the time I was getting anything. And so I realised that there's a hell of a lot of people that's giving free advertising to these companies free. <clears throat> so every time you do a video, and some people probably do say five a week, different video on each of those, that's five different companies or advertisements you put out per week, maybe different each per week uh, on the ones you, you produce and you're doing it for bloody nothing and if anybody knows anything about the advertising system it isn't bloody cheap if uh, these companies want to do advertising they pay through the bloody nose for it yet YouTube they're getting away with a hell of a lot of free advertising so I said sod it and I came off now I don't really go around looking at my old ones so I'm hoping that there's still not coming up on those because I have the monitor that bloody word anyway so <clears throat> yeah for me it, it doesn't matter and it then it, it goes into why you're here in the first place uh, there's those that come into it because it's something to do it's a bit of fun they've got something to say and they want to say it and they want subscribers and people to listen and to give some feedback there's those that uh, want to make a little bit from it a little bit more then there's those that want the career um, but for me I'm, I'm in the bracket of uh, I started this out and I'm still in the same mindset that what I do is for people that subscribe and want to follow, want to hear what you got to say. If you have a bit of a laugh, can have a bit of a laugh with you. If it was sad, can have a bit of a cry with you. Um, I'm not really that concerned whether money comes into it. Whether fame comes into it, some people are into it for the fame. They just want the views, 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 and subscribers. And they want the fame, they want to be out there and go, Hey! Yeah! Which is crazy. How, however big a YouTuber you become, and you're going, Hey, I'm a YouTube star, I'm famous. Here. Yeah out there a little bit but if you're next to the the famous yeah 99 percent of the world would be going <laughs> who the hell is it so it's a sort of we to do a trump shall we it's a sort of fake famous <laughs> um and i'm i'm under no doubts about that it won't matter how many uh, followers I get. Um, I am not going to be Brad Pitt or somebody. People are not going to rush me in the street. <laughs> Bad hell. So, so yeah. Um, I think you got to look at it from where you are and uh, what you want from it and uh, I see lots of people that are sort of down here somewhere and I've said something about videos and from what they say and the answers they give they're very shy of it they're very uh, shy of putting the face on the screen and I, I will explain you don't have to put your face on the screen, do a, uh, a video where you're just looking at photographs, but talk over them. Uh, there's lots of different ways. You don't have to sit there and do it. Eventually, if you want to do that, 
make a couple of videos at home, look at them yourself, go, oh my giddy bloody ant. But sooner or later you'll think, sod it, put it up. Um, these people, for me, are important because most of them, I, well, every one of them that I've come across has something to say as a voice and it's important and when I say they've got something to say they really really have uh, they amaze me with the things that they talk about the knowledge they have about the things they talk about because they just need that bit of a oomph to get going and what's happening at the moment isn't doing them a lot of good because I think they're getting all this feedback and not understanding it and thinking what's the point and we, we we don't want that we can't have a youtube of just the big ones all the time and nobody coming up so we need their voices and that's who i really love i follow lots of people that maybe just got one or two videos out maybe just got one or two followers but by hell, I like what they do. Um, some of you watching this might know who one or two of you are. Um, so yeah, um, I think don't take too much uh, notice of it. Uh, if you're somebody that's make a hell of a lot of money from it I'm sorry but you, you've got to go with the flow really there's not a hell of a lot anybody can do about it but beware that what's here today can be gone tomorrow YouTube's here today next year year after next month as soon as that could be gone and you left bloody eye and dry so one always have a backup so yeah um, I think just do your channel enjoy what you, you do do it for your subscribers that's what it's all about if you do it for money if you do it for professionalism or anything like that you start leaving the people that put you where you are behind and sooner or later they'll start looking at that and going but well why bloody follow I'm, I'm lost in the bloody crowd now I've noticed the more subscribers you get it does become difficult uh, I haven't got lots I'm, I'm at the thousand mark just over but it does get harder YouTube make it harder because you tell them, which they ask you to do, how do you want your notifications? Occasional? All the time? All the time, please. Looks fantastic, yep. Go back a couple of days later, have a look. It's down to occasional. Who the friggin' hell put it down there? I didn't. Put it back up. Go back a while down to occasional I've never seen it go below that but <coughs> seems to add this point of occasional and whatever you click it as given a day or two or whatever automatically back down so for anybody that follows me if I haven't responded or said something to your video for a little while uh, I apologize because it's not because I don't want to one I do get a lot of videos come through and I work through them two some I although it says occasional I don't get freaking any so I see the person pop up for somebody else and then I go and have a look change it go and have a look what they're doing um, then I'll get I'll get a backlog cleared and all of a sudden I'll get a bloody mass of uh, 
notifications and they're not all done in the last hour or something they're like a backlog so they're really buggy about so yeah I, I do try and get to you and I try and watch and I try and uh, comment so if you feel that I haven't done it for a while just leave a message on one of the videos and say you lost your freaking tongue or something <laughs> then I'll, I'll know that my notifications are up the bloody creek uh, I've got some people that used to be there a lot that I haven't seen for a long time um, I'm not sure now whether they've gone whether they've uh, put notifications I don't flipping get them it's a, it's a bloody mess and that's probably the answer to it all in the end YouTube has got into a bloody mess uh, so I think we should start booking the bloody ideas up um, in lots of different directions so that, that's a bit of a rant on about it but um, it's the way I see it uh, I would say for the vast majority of us that are not up there and wanting a career out of it go with the flow do what you do and see what the future brings and if it improves or whether it goes downhill a bit more I would hazard a guess that somewhere along the line it's going to improve because if they don't it's not going to do them a hell of a lot of freaking good and if somebody else comes along and puts up a channel which is YouTube type but it's a bloody 90% better and it's more to the original uh, original of, of what YouTube set out to be then I think you'll see a bloody mass exodus to be honest so that was probably a load of bollocks on it <laughs> I don't, I don't but that's that's my view on it anyway just don't unless it's your career and it, it's it's bumpy at the moment carry on carry on sir I still want to see your videos. I still want to see what you got to say. <coughs> Let <it up. laughs> oh, sugar puffs. <laughs> I'm, I'm bloody going before I put my bloody foot in it. Catch you later, folks. <laughs>